It's the moment of reckoning for the ANC's presidential hopefuls as nominations open for the party's next leader this week. This means delegates can now lobby for their preferred leaders, after previously being forbidden from doing so. To some, this may seem as though Zuma would inevitably get a second term at the helm of the ANC. But elections are a number game and it's now up to the regions to decide who they would prefer to lead them. Some lobbyists say that they would not be discussing their opinions for fear of being left out of the group going to Mangaum to vote for their delegates. ANC leaders have told the Mail and Guardian larger provinces are crisscrossing smaller ones to prevent a contest. Lobbying for their candidates and calling for unity in voting in an attempt to avoid a Polikwane style battle. Meanwhile, embattled ANC Youth League leader Julius Malema appeared in court last week on charges of money laundering. He used his soapbox to deride Zuma once again, saying the case against him was politically motivated and orchestrated by Zuma. Malema has already publicly announced that he would prefer Khalema Mutlante to take over as the ANC's leader. Mutlante has not verbalized any inclination towards running for the top job, but he is known to be one of Zuma's closest competitors. Even though some from his camp have told the Mail and Guardian there were concerns his support for Malema could be detrimental to his campaign. Nevertheless, Malema will remain one of the sideshows as the elections inch closer, and there's little doubt his offensives against Zuma will become more fiery. There are still two months to go before the ANC's elective conference, and events in the past two weeks have shown that things will only become more interesting on the road to Mongolia.